Hi, this is <coughs> this is Kyle Racecott, and I'm going to show you how to draw a robot. I'm not exactly a professional at it, I'm more of a cartoon robot type person, but it's still pretty cool. Alright, here we go. Okay, now I'm going to be using a black um, colored pencil. I usually use a regular pencil, but most of the time when I use, yeah, you can't see that as well as that. Alright, anyway, what I usually do when I start drawing a robot is I start with its legs. So I would do something like this. And I do screw up sometimes. Happens to the best of us. And I can tell you right now this isn't going to be my best. I'll actually show you a couple of my best ones. I think my best one was actually my first one. But anyway. Then I add those. And I don't, I'm not usually like straight leg type thing. I usually do something like, well, kind of like a mechanical tentacle, only <clears throat> not as much of a tentacle as anything else. Kind of like, kind of like that. Now that's not exactly in the middle, but it doesn't have to be. It's basically a couple ball and socket joints added onto each other, I guess. I do that for the arms, too. I'm not sure what weapons I'll put on this. I'll think it up as I'm putting on. Now, for the body, I usually do it. The body is also the head. But sometimes I do, like, the body and then the head, like up here. But, because I'm lazy, I'm just going to do the head body. Usually start about right there. I try to keep my robots looking... I base it on how the legs look. See, this is circular. So that's going to be circular. The, arm, the ends of the arms are also going to be like that. So... Do that. If I had angled it more, it would have looked like horns. That's kind of how one of mine looks. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to use triangles as eyes on this one. And then... Mouth. Sometimes I do... I like shoulder things. I'm going to do that for this one. Almost look like ears or separate horns or something sometimes. Uh, this is what I have so far. It kind of looks good, but not as good as some of my others. I'll show you some of my others when I'm done with this, like I said. Um, I think... For the, this arm, I'm going to have a Gatlin gun. I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll do a Gatlin gun. I screwed it up already. See, I got the leg in the way right there. Oh, well. <clears throat> It's, it, like I said, it doesn't have to look perfect. Uh, some things there. So the barrels. Ends of the barrels. A lot of times I have a thing of ammo going out. 
See, that's not like these. This is full of ammo. It comes from, from like a thing on his back. It's not like the limbs. Um, and... I think for this one I'm going to do... Kind of like a scissor type thing. So I'll have it going out this way this time so I can get it as big as I want it. Now, for scissor type things, I usually start with, I usually do like the basic scissor shape. But, unlike most of the time, I'm just going to do half-ass job. Maybe add a little teeth there. And basically my signature type thing. They always have at least that many um, little um, tick things on them. I can't remember what they're called at the moment. Um, and I most of the time I have little bullet holes or spots where bullets have hit and bounced off. Maybe a little dent somewhere. I'm not really good at the dents, so I try to stick with the bullet holes and stuff. And there you have a basic robot. Now, I'm going to show you a few of my others. I'm not going to show you all of them because that would take too long. I'm just going to show you the best ones. Because, as usual, I am a lazy person. Let's shift this around a little bit so I can see myself. Brighten it. Okay, I hope you can see me because I can. <laughs> uh. Oh well. I'll mess with that later. Now, the best one in my perspective is the first one that I drew. That is the first one that I drew. I was the better Gatlin gun. He has a chainsaw for the left hand. And he's just generally better. You, I, I called him U3 from a friend's idea. Um, let's see. I also have one in one of my drawing books. I'm not, I don't feel like digging it out right now because I can't find it at the moment. Uh, there's this guy. My friend also came up with the name for him. I mean, he look, he doesn't he's he doesn't have any weapons. He's a bomb, pretty much. Look at those measurements. That's massive. Anyway, I also I got the name from a friend. All, uh, the same friend who came up with uh, U3. <laughs> I thought of U2 at the time. Um, but it was from a Resident Evil game, so we couldn't use it. Um, this is actually the second one that I drew ever. Called him Comet. And as you can see, he has the little. Let me see where my fingers. He has the rocket boots and. Kind of awesome claw cannon and a sword and shoulder spikes. And real quickly, this is just a random one I drew, like out of nowhere. Gives height of an average person, like six foot or whatever. This is like 17 feet tall. I haven't figured out what to call him or if I'll even call him anything. But those are 
some really awesome robots. Um, I hope you comment on this. Um, maybe uh, you probably won't, but oh well. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching.